Hello friends, this is Jibesh. I welcome you back to my channel Bioprofessional. Here, I am making a video after a long time and you probably were waiting for this day that is a SLAD 2021. Okay. And uh, here I have, you know, chosen 10 questions and I'll discuss these 10 questions with their answer. If you ask me then uh, that why I have chosen these 10 questions and because for that I don't have any answer. I randomly chosen 10 questions and uh, I'll give their you know, answer with probable, you know, you know, explanation. And this is for paper one. So almost uh, whoever has appeared for SLAD 2021. You know they have got these questions and they can check uh, which questions you know which you know options they have marked okay and uh, before I start I want to share that I am a bit happier because my channel recently crossed 500 subscriber and many of you may be thinking that Jibesh sir is you know feeling happy for only 500 subscriber for me it's a great you know you know moment to share because a 500 number is a huge number and I want your support to grow ahead okay if you want to share anything your views your you know any suggestion for my channel you are always welcome you can always give you know your suggestions in the comment section so let's not now make any deal and start this you know lecture okay the first question I have to chosen is this the National Education Day is an annual observance. Observance means, you know, we give you know, respect to that this particular day in India to commemorate. Commemorate means to recall. It means to recall the birth anniversary of. You have, you know, you have four options and out of this you have to choose only one. And the answer for this is, you know, the B that is Maulana Abul Kalam Azad. And this day is, you know, celebrated in 11th November. Okay, 11th November. So the answer is this, the B. I'm not going to explain why, you know, they have chosen their names. It will take in a huge lot of time. Okay, let's move on to next question. The next question is, which of the following, which of the following, okay, monitors user activity on the internet and transmits that information in the background to someone else what do you mean by this means it can monitors user activity means whatever activity you are doing it can monitor and it can transmit the information in the background means it is stealing your information right it is stealing your information so you can guess like this is spyware spy means you know someone who is secretly collects you know or secretly collecting your data and giving to somebody else okay and uh, virus you can oh, this cannot be the answer worm cannot be the answer and most of the students got confused between malware and spyware so um, this is a clue you can you know find i'm not going to describe the what is malware and all you can of course check later on in the google okay let's move on to next question ozone layer in outer atmosphere protects us from okay so this cosmic rays will not come because uh, this ray is with high you know energy and low wavelength we know that the it's inverse relation between your you know wavelength wavelength and wavelength and your energy energy okay means if you have high energy then low wavelength high wavelength then low energy okay cosmic rays you know you can discard it now the remaining option is uvc and uvb you know we can classify this you know uv radiation uh, depending on their wavelength like uh, uv let's first of all let's take uvc it's from uh, 100 to 290 290 nanometer wavelength okay next your UVB UVB is from 290 to 320 actually I am writing uh, on this you know pad after so many days so my writing part is not maybe so good okay and uh, the UVA UVA is from 
थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी टू फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर फोर हंड्रेड नैनोमीटर ओके वी यू नो अबाउट ओजोन लेयर इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्ट्रेटोस्फियर रीजन इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द स्ट्रेटोस्फियर रीजन इज एंड इट ओके नाउ दिस यू बी सी दिस यू बी सी इज कंप्लीटली एब्जॉर्ब बाई ओजोन लेयर इट इज कंप्लीटली एब्जॉर्ब बाई ओजोन लेयर यू वी सी this uv b is you know almost all the radiation of uv b is absorbed but some part is you know uh, some part is you know coming to your our earth surface but in case of uv a uv a is not you know absorbed by ozone layer directly uv a can come to our earth okay if you consider let's say uh, let's say this is uv a it's coming okay it can directly come to earth let's say this is earth this is earth and let's say this is the ozone layer it can directly come to earth okay now you consider uvc it cannot come because all the uvc radiation will be absorbed by this ozone layer this is what ozone layer okay now the remaining is uv sorry uh uv b okay uv b let's say this is uv b this is uv b okay and when it cross let's say some part will come here see the intensity and intensity here okay so some part will come reach to earth and uh, this is the reason you know uh, this type of radiation can cause a skin cancer so your the answer is this one d both b and c will be the correct answer because this ozone layer can protect us from both uvb and uvc okay let's move on to next question so again uh, the full form of m double o c m double o c is a, you know uh, is a again memory based question and the answer for this is massive open online course okay those who have you know marked this option will get two mark and those who have not you know given this option will get zero okay as we know that there is no negative mark okay let's move on to next question okay now this is again also you know a type of memory based question here they have given a, a trick i can say given they have given a trick as see the tribune most of the student will think that this is assam tribune and they will mark like 1 uh, to 2 and they they are make a mistake but this is not the case the tribune so this tribune is you know from this chandigarh tribune is from where the chandigarh okay the sangai express is from manipur okay and the deccan herald is from karnataka deccan herald it is from karnataka and hindustan times is from new delhi okay so uh, this option is a twist and for this option many student will make mistake okay the tribune is not from assam it's from chandigarh next communication that takes place between two individual is okay communication between two individual mass communication it can be you no know, you can directly cancel it because mass means massive mass means what massive when you are you know Uh, delivering a lecture with you know thousands and lakhs of people this is mass communication okay intra personal intra means within so this cannot be the right answer group communication you can cancel it and inter inter means between two okay inter means between the meaning of inter is between so this is the you know probable answer okay so option d is correct next question is which one of the following is not a component of communication so this is a little bit you know you know knowledgeable question you should have a knowledge for this unless you cannot answer it okay what do you mean by communication see communication is a latin word from com communicare okay communication is basically defined as a process of understanding and sharing process of understanding and sharing okay see communication has eight parts if i write communication has how many parts eight parts the first is first is source okay this is source second i am explaining this question so that uh, you understand this well okay source then you have message 
message number three is your channel okay. channel four is receiver four is receiver five is feedback feedback six is your environment and sorry environment okay number seven is your context its context and number eight is interference interference okay see this is source source means from where the message is sent from where the message is sent okay message means means it is you know produced meaning produced by the source okay this is meaning produced by the source okay now channel channel is the way the way in which a message is traveled between source and the receiver okay receiver means it receives the message from the source I'm not writing because if I write it will take a much of longer time receiver means which will you know receive the message from the source okay now what is feedback feedback means receivers sends back to the source if you know source is producing something a meaning or message okay the receiver listens it and it gives the feedback okay this is feedback now the question is that which one of the following is not a component of communication see sender is a part of communication source is also a part of communication message okay it will be okay this is a correct option medium or channel this is also correct because you know uh, the way in which it travels this is the channel and this is the component of your communication a receiver or destination this is also a, you know a part of communication but this speaking listening you know writing reading it doesn't making any sense because you know speaking with whom you are speaking okay listening from where you are listening okay basically it is not making any sense and uh, for me for my opinion so this is this is the answer means it's not a component of communication okay now we have to wait for you know slat commission their answer so most probably 90 almost 95 to 99 percent cases this will be the probable answer next uh, dfd means it's a again a memory based question this is called data flow diagram means it's a way of expressing the flow diagram let's say we are you know giving a diagram flow diagram we are making a flow diagram and uh, that's why like this if you make this is called the data flow diagram when something we are explaining from this like this okay this is called dfd so the answer is b now okay a digital database of academic awards provided by the government of india again it's a memory based question and the answer for this is called this national academic depository this is also known as nad national academic depository okay if you know this you know from earlier you can find it unless maybe you know you are wrong okay let's move on to next question okay this is a year of establishment if you know you can answer it so tripura university is established on you know 19 1987 manipur university 1980 it's a uh, 1980 okay dibrugarh university is 1965 this is 1965 and shikkim is you know it's a new year of establishment it is established in the year 2006 so these are the 10 questions i hope you like it if you like it you can subscribe to my channel and share this channel link with your friends 
and if you subscribe to my channel if you share your feedback i also you know uh, get some energy to make such videos please do comment below how this you know explanation matters to you and please hit a like button